One of the most amazing parts about the Oculus Quest 2 is that it's actually a dual system. You can play standalone or you can play PC VR. Today on BMF, I'm going to show you two different methods on how you can play PC VR. The first method using a cable and the second method using a wireless method so you can play totally tetherless. Two quick notes really quickly is that you'll need a gaming PC to actually do this. Unfortunately, the PC actually has to be able to run these games in order to make this work. And you're also going to need some software like like Steam and the Oculus desktop platform, and I'll leave links to all of that down in the description. Let's get ready to play some PC VR on the Oculus Quest 2. Alright, so the easiest way to actually play PC VR games on your Quest 2 is to use the officially supported method, although I use the other method, this one is the easiest to get set up, so the first thing you need to do is download the Oculus PC VR software, which you're actually going to need for the second method, so we're going to do that right now. I'll leave a link right down in the description that brings you directly to that software. Once you download the software and set it to install, it's time to get your Quest 2 set up to run PC VR. Now this is super simple, all you have to do is have a cable that will work for you to play PC VR. Unfortunately, the Quest 2 cable that comes with the Quest 2 is not long enough to do that. I will leave a link in the description to two different cables. My preferred cable is actually the Oculus Link cable, which is the officially supported cable. I think that it is the best thing you can buy to play PC VR. It is a little bit expensive at 79 US dollars, but the flexibility and the build of this cable, and it is 16 feet long, it works really well. One thing to know is that you will need a USB-C port on your PC to actually use this cable. It does use a USB-C on both sides, so you'll need a USB-C port on your actual PC. The other cable that I will recommend is actually a cable you can get right on Amazon. It too is 16 feet long. It's a little stiffer. It's not as flexible and the build quality isn't as good, but it still works really well. It's less than half the price. So if you're on a budget, then this is definitely a way to go. Plus it does not use USB-C to plug into your PC. You'll just need a standard USB port. All right, so once that cable is plugged into your PC, the next step is to turn on your Quest place it on your head and plug in the cable to the Quest 2. As soon as you plug it in, a pop-up will come up asking you if it's okay to connect to the PC. Just make sure you confirm that you're okay with that. And then once it's back at the Quest 2 home menu, another pop-up will come up asking you if you want to enable Oculus Link. All you gotta do is hit enable and it'll immediately open up the Oculus PC software and bring you to your Oculus home. There you go, now it's actually running PC VR on your Quest 2. From there you can go into your library and browse that and play games, all you gotta do is pick the game you wanna play. You will need games to play, obviously, but a lot of your Quest 2 games are actually cross-buy, so you'll be able to download a PC VR version of that game, which will probably graphically look better, and it'll give you a good way to test it and make sure it's working properly, plus there are some free games you can play to test it out as well. All right, so that's the first and easiest method, and you'll be ready to go to play PC VR, but my preferred method is actually to keep the Quest 2 completely wireless, which I think is a revolutionary way to play PC VR, and that is using virtual desktop. Now, this does require quite a few extra steps. It does require you actually having your quest ready to side load, but I'm going to run you through that right now. Now, quickly, before I jump in and show you how to do this, one thing to know is that you will need a decent router to actually make this happen. It doesn't need to be a Wi-Fi 6 router, although that is what I use, and I found it much more consistent, and it works really well. You just have to have a 5 gigahertz connection. I will leave a link to two different routers in the description below. One is a 5 gigahertz router that I can recommend if you don't want to get Wi-Fi 6, and the other is my personal router that works for me really well, and you can get them both right on Amazon. Two quick notes before we jump into this wireless PC VR setup. Number one, you're going to need a cable to connect your Quest to your PC so we can side load some software. This can be the cable that came with your Quest 2 if you have a USB-C port on your PC. If you do not, you might just have one lying around. All it needs to be is a USB-C to USB port, so check your phones and see if you happen to have one. 
Otherwise, I'll put a link in the description to a cable you can buy that's cheap on Amazon that'll allow you to transfer files from your PC to your Quest 2. Secondly, you're also going to need a software called Virtual Desktop. It's for sale in the official Oculus Quest store, so you're going to need to buy that in order to be able to make this software play wirelessly because we're going to sideload a patched APK and that'll turn on wireless PC VR for virtual desktop. But you do need to own that software first and have it installed on your Quest. All right, so now that that's out of the way, it's time to set it up so you can sideload to your Quest and you can turn on developer mode. The first thing you need to do is actually create a developer account. And I'll leave a link in the description for you to click on to go and do that. Once you head to that link, you'll have to make sure you're logged in properly with your Oculus ID. And then you're going to see a pop up that says create new organization. All you have to do is enter a name in that box where it says, please enter a name. It can be anything. It can be toast or something crazy, whatever it is. It can be your name. It just has to be something different that does not already exist. Then you're going to click the I understand, and then you're going to hit submit. Another pop up will come up with a non disclosure agreement. Just click agree and then hit submit. Once that's done, it is all set and ready to go. The next thing you're going to need is to grab your phone and jump into the Oculus application. Once you're in the Oculus application, tap on the bottom right hand corner where it says settings, then find your quest in the list of hardware and tap on it. Make sure it's nearby and on or this will not work. Once it says connected, all you have to do is hit more settings, go down where it says developer mode, tap that and make sure that the developer mode switch is turned on. By default, it's turned off. If you tap it, it'll turn on and you'll see the blue on the left hand side. That means that it's on. Next, we're going to go ahead and go back on our PC and get things situated for SideQuest. You're going to need to download some drivers here and I'll leave a link to those in the description as well. Head over to that link, agree to the terms of the license and then hit download. Once you've downloaded the ADB drivers, all you have to do is extract that folder, navigate down into the folder until you see this file Android underscore Win USB, right click on that file and hit install. Once the installation is over, just reset your computer and we'll move on to the next step. Now that you've got developer mode activated and you have the drivers on your PC, it's time to connect your Quest to the PC. Go ahead and plug your Quest 2 into your PC while it's on and place the headset on your head. You'll see a pop up that says allow USB debugging. Make sure you check the always allow from this computer box and then hit OK. Now it's time to download a program called SideQuest. This will allow you to be able to sideload what we need to make playing wireless PC VR possible. Head over to the link in the description and download the file for your operating system. Once that file is downloaded, make sure you install it and then open up the software. Once you open up the software side quest, as long as your quest 2 is connected, you'll see in the top left corner a green circle and it'll say quest 2 is connected. If that's red, it means you're not connected properly or you need to jump in and check out the pop up in your headset again. All right, so as long as you have purchased virtual desktop in the Quest store and downloaded it onto your Quest 2, all you have to do is jump into side quest now, click on the top right hand corner where it says search games and then type in virtual desktop. Once you see virtual desktop, click on the icon, navigate into the page for the software. Then all you have to do is click install to headset and it'll install the software automatically onto your Quest 2. All right, so there's one more step you got to do before you could jump into your headset after putting the software onto your Quest, and that is to download the virtual desktop streaming software. Head to the link in the description to the virtual desktop page, download the virtual desktop streamer, and once that's downloaded, install it. Open up the virtual desktop streamer and you will see a box that says Oculus username. Type in your Oculus username there and hit save. All right, so now it's time to finally jump into your quest, place the quest to on your head with the virtual desktop streamer running and then go into the virtual desktop software. Once you're in the software, it'll pop up and show you your desktop as a compatible device. If it doesn't load up automatically, just click on your computer with your touch controller and it should load right into your desktop. Now the key to playing PC VR games on virtual desktop is actually not to load them through your desktop. It's to load them through virtual desktops platform. So by hitting the menu button on your left touch controller, it'll bring up a menu system where you can actually hit the games tab. If you go to the games tab, it'll show you all of the PC VR games that you have installed. Remember, you actually have to have PC VR games installed. Do you actually play them? But when you install them for either Steam or the Oculus platform, they'll appear here. All you have to do is pick the one you want to play, click on it, and it'll load it up automatically. Then you're ready to jump into PC VR to play it wirelessly, which is honestly pretty revolutionary.
There you go. There are a couple different methods to play PC VR on the Quest 2 platform. This also works on the Quest 1 as well. And there are actually other different methods you can use, different methods to stream wirelessly. Virtual Desktop does cost $20 to be able to jump into and use, but it's also the easiest method to use and in my experience, the most consistent. I use Virtual Desktop pretty much all of the time and it's continually getting updated. The developer, Guy Godden, is amazing and he continually blows my mind on how awesome this platform works to stream wireless PC VR. Which method do you personally use? Let me know down in the comments which one you use and if you used one and didn't like it, let me know why. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. Plus, you can check out even more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.